Recently, I posted about being broke and having to move back to Colorado and in with my grandparents. But since I'm back in this beautiful state, I figured I'd show you what my first day back in Colorado looks like. There's an elementary school right there. I hope nobody comes out. Come on. Now, I don't know if this snow warrants a snow day anymore for kids, because you know, back in my day, we had to have at least three inches of hail and then 12 inches of snow on that to even think about getting a delay start. But there's about three or four inches of snow out on the ground and I have four things on my checklist for my first full snow day here in Colorado. Number one, go do some donuts in my grandpa's truck. This is not what he thinks I'm doing in his truck right now. I can promise you that much. Number two, snowboard by any means. Can we stand on this is the real question. Three, do a 30 second snow angel in my boxers. Why am I whining so much? And number four, have some breakfast at my auntie's spot. Okay, fun fact, this actually used, this used to be my bedroom. All right, now let's go find an empty parking lot. We are gonna make a quick pit stop because I told my grandpa I was running by the storage unit and that's why I needed to borrow the truck. That hurts. That's cold, boy. I swear that's the code. I think it's almost unbearably cold to touch. And it's not opening, I don't know why. But the snowboard's in there. Got it. Okay, so there's another slight problem. I've got these sweet goggles, but I don't see a snowboard. So we're gonna have to get creative. All right, let's go do some donuts and then hit the snowboard or the lid thing. Yeah. We're in an undisclosed park location and they've left part of it snow covered. All right, first thing on today's bucket list, doing donuts in my grandpa's truck. Let's go. This is not what he thinks I'm doing in his truck right now. I can promise you that much. Back in Colorado, baby! I literally just passed the county worker pulling out of that park. Okay, now it's time to find a hill that I can hopefully ride down on, on this box top. So right behind that elementary school that I shot the intro for this video of, there's an elementary school right there. There's a hill just on the backside and I think I might be able to ride this lid down it. Oh yeah, I think there's a chance. I said by any means, so here we are. Can we stand on this is the real question. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> All right, well, come on now. Can we at least sled on this thing? Let's see. A little bit. All right, we're gonna call that good enough. This is abnormally cold for a winter day in Colorado. But don't get it twisted. This will still probably be melted by noon. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? It's currently clear and 12 degrees. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 27 degrees. I knew it felt like North Dakota out there. This snow's about to last more than 24 hours. What? We're about to do this in the parking lot of a five-star restaurant. Let's do this. Okay, the time officially starts 
now. Oh my god. I got 30 seconds of this. That's 14. I thought I was doing this in Colorado. I'm in Alaska. 25. Embrace it. Why am I whining so much? I need that cold therapy in my life. 36 seconds. I went over time. Honestly, I miss the ice bath days from being an athlete. This brings me back. Except for I don't want all that snow in my grandpa's truck. Honestly, basically my whole backside is numb now. We chilling. Wish there was a river to jump in. But that's only the third thing on my bucket list. It's time to go see my auntie for breakfast. This is just your friendly reminder to live the limit. There's a car coming. Let me get out of the road. made it to one of the best restaurants in Colorado. Good morning. I'm making a vlog about my first day back in Colorado. You think I can get some breakfast? We get special treatment. We can go in the kitchen. No. I'm telling you this. Okay, fun fact. This actually used, this used to be my bedroom. Second off, I only do this for family. Third, her food is actually gas. Can I get the same thing that I had yesterday? This is auntie. You are gonna say hi? Hi, how are you? <laughs> you caught me off guard. You may not be all about the camera, but you can cook. Thank you. And that's what matters. <laughs> there you go. You got Thank what, you. a peanut butter and jelly and a Nutella empanada, yeah? Yes. Yeah, you ain't never had that, but you want it. Don't worry, I'll put the location of this place down in the description so you can come try the Nutella and Banadas. And the fourth thing on my bucket list for my first day back in Colorado is eating at my auntie's spot. Oh, it's even hot. Thank you. Today wasn't a normal day by any means in Colorado, but it encompassed a lot of the things that I love about winter here, and it's getting out in the snow. If I learned anything from today, it's that those small moments, like riding around in that parking lot, took maybe five minutes or trying to slide down that hill. It took literally probably 90 seconds, but it's living the limit in those small moments makes the macro life worth living. I'm Ryan Fila. Until next time, you try to live the limit and I'm gonna enjoy some breakfast and see you in the next one. Hey.